by the car. Were there any witnesses? Found or not. I thought he had a minder with him all the time. He was alone. What did the ambassador say? He kept a diplomatic silence. He was not asked, no doubt. Hello, Julia. Good to see you. Hello, Marvin. does he want? No idea. Well, does he know something? Is there more to know? No. The whole incident is over. If he makes public accusations, it could be most embarrassing for my father. And expensive for us. Exactly. The last thing we want at this stage is attention. Of course, um, you know who he's married to, don't you? Charles Parker Smith's daughter. Do you know them well? My people do. I knew Cage years ago. This, uh, second man business. There's nothing in that. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Gordon Bennett. Harry! I haven't seen you for... I know. Forever. <laughs> Your pa was chatting with mine at the weekend and I sort of got dragged along. <laughs> what are we giving to? Church roof? Something like that. This is my, um... Big TV star these days, I see. And looking great. I must say, I haven't actually watched it, but I'm told it's frightfully good. I'm sorry. And Kate and I go back a long way. I'm Harry Townsend. Oh, my lucky. I, um, haven't actually laid eyes on you since you took up this acting lot. Mind you, you haven't changed a bit. Oh, I'm sure I have. Enjoying it? Most of the time. I saw your husband on the TV the other night. Something about writing instead of acting. Good. Uh, give me the second. Yes, of course. I just came in to say good night. I have a meeting to go on to. Good night. I don't think we were introduced. Harry Townsend. Uh, meet Paula, the producer. You'll have to forgive Larry. He's a writer at the moment. Consumed by your obsession, aren't you, darling? Oh, you know how it is. I saw you talking on television about your writing work. What is it you're on with? It's a political thriller. Episode 31 of Pulaski. Hey, you don't think I can do it, do you? You think I'm just some kind of bag of hot air? Well, I got a whole team of researchers working for me. I know the car that hit those kids was coming from a polo match to a joint called Hilden Hall. I also know that there were two guys in that car, not just one, like the cops were told. I know a lot about this thing. You know when you'll deliver? You think that's funny? I don't think that's funny. There are two kids left for dead. Oh, I have to leave, I'm afraid. See ya. Meeting in time with some money, people. Lovely to see you again, Harry. Now, give my regards to your parents. Will do. Lovely to see you again, Katie. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's my lift. Should be. I have to be in town in 40 minutes. You'll never make it. Fast car. Aren't you driving? Oh, banned, I'm afraid. The demon drink. Twelve months. Bloody nuisance, really, but there it is. Bye. Goodbye, Bye. Harry. Well, he doesn't know anything yet. So let's hope he'll shut up. We'd better. Why the hell didn't you tell me you were at Hilden Hall with Julius? Says who? My stable staff and half the bloody club. And you know what else? There's an idea floating around that you were involved in that hit and run. Want to discuss that, do you, Harry? What the hell did you expect me to do? Go to the police and admit that I was driving? I was drunk, for God's sake. Yeah. I had to stay out of it because of the deal. If any of this gets out, the whole thing could be off. Just like that. So that I stand to lose a hundred grand. That's only your end of it. There's no proof against me. It was an accident. It'll hit the papers all over again if that American keeps going. And there'll be some stone-faced commissars wanting to know why their ambassador has such a close personal relationship with us. And why he's putting 85 million of their money with my bank. What's he gonna say? Because I was bribed? Everything was coming along smoothly. And you? How do we socialize our way out of this one, eh? You shut that American up. I don't care how, but you shut him up. 
Colin. Well, 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 Colin, don't quit. I think the last act may have just walked in the door. It's going to be a shootout. You really shouldn't have sent your father-in-law to ask questions at the club. Not, uh, not the cricket, eh? Hey, tell me something, uh, how come a guy who can't ride a rocking horse gets to play polo with the tough guys? You mean Julius? The English social scene is part of British industry, Mr. Summers. Oh, I see. Be nice to the ambassador's son, and, uh, ambassador will throw you a bone. What we get, we get on merit. Sure you do. This isn't a used car deal. This is something worth 85 million to this country, and that is just the beginning. A publicity-seeking little nobody like you isn't going to jeopardize everything we've worked for. You are on the point of slandering some honorable men, and I am not going to stand by and let you do that. Any lies you get printed in the press will embarrass the very people we're trying to do business with. When are you going to get to the bit about you and the ambassador's son being drunk and running down the girl? I've got a witness. You were at Hilden that day. How'd you get home? You gonna produce a witness that says I gave you a lift? You left two kids bleeding on the highway. You didn't care if they were dead or they were alive. You got your friend Julius to say he was driving. You're guessing. You've got nothing. You're just a parvenu bloody actor. You send that old idiot of a father the Only members of the immediate family get to call him the old idiot. I'm warning you, you little crazy. You listen, uh, me, Larry. Just thought I'd uh, let you know I'll be doing a little publicity today about that hit and run thing. You, I know you'll sue. I'll take my chance. What the hell do you want? Seems to me a few people around here have an idea what went down, but uh, nobody's talking. Looks like he's down to old Big Mouth here to check out Justice for All and see if it still works. I think you're holding back cards on bluffing, Mr. Summers. Can you afford to find out? be 85 million reasons why you'd like to keep me quiet. Hmm? How did you swing that deal, by the way? I don't figure you got his old daddy in your back pocket. Well, it'll all come out in court. Open your mouth without hard evidence, and this gentleman will finish you. You think you can get me out of the series, I mean? I really appreciate that. <clears throat> Have a nice day. It's going to bloody do it. Not here. Not here of all places. Here, know about Harry's driving. What happened? There are times when people like us have to drop people like you. You're on your own. You have nothing. No evidence.